Good morning, Dr. Chad here, and I'm about to have my morning cup of coffee. Just took Maya, our little sweet dog, for a walk around the park. And I thought before I had my cup of coffee, I would answer a common question um, that we get a lot with our customer service team, which is what coffee creamer is best for me? And I'll first say this is a really good question because I'll tell you in a minute here, most of the common conventional coffee creamers out there are not healthy for you. They're very toxic and they could be contributing to a lot of the problems you may be having with your weight, uh, with your mood, with your energy, and they could even set you up for a whole host of chronic diseases. So the, the main thing we wanna get across, and not just with our coffee creamer, but with everything we're doing here at Native Path, is you wanna think about doing things that maximize nutrition and minimize toxicity. Rather than just think about calories in, calories out, think about maximizing nutrition, minimizing toxicity. And like, like I said earlier, the problem with most conventional coffee creamers that you likely have in your pantry, um, I'm talking about the pink packet, the yellow packet, the blue packet, um, the stuff that you're finding at your grocery store, look at the ingredients. And if you look a little further and Google those things, you'll see they're terrible for you. So here's some things that I'm gonna share with you that you wanna look for and avoid in your coffee creamer. So the first one is these icky thickeners that they put in there. These are things like uh, carrageenan, cellulose gum, polysorbate 60. These all contribute to very poor gut health. They contribute to leaky gut. Um, essentially, they poke holes in your intestinal lining and they set off this cascade of systemic inflammation all throughout your body. Um, it might sound like it's good because it's thickening your, your coffee and it's, it's an ingredient you've always been using maybe or never even noticed, but these things can cause a whole host of problems. So keep an eye out for these icky thickeners, okay? And the next thing you wanna look out for are chemical preservatives. And I have to just say, that they love, this is the food manufacturing industry, they love to put chemical preservatives in almost anything. They have uh, engineers, scientists in white coats um, manufacturing these fake foods and doing everything they can to get you addicted to these foods. So some, some things you wanna look out for, look out for BHA and look out for BHT. Both of these are chemical preservatives and they negatively impact the neurological system, your brain, and they also affect your memory. So, um, you know, th this is, you're gonna find a lot of this in your conventional coffee creamers, but it sets you up for uh, chronic diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, that's, those are neurological disorders and you want to avoid those. There's better ways, better things you can do, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Next thing you wanna look out for are also artificial flavors. You want something that's real, that's natural. Again, you need real food, maximize nutrition, minimizing toxicity. So some of those artificial flavors that you wanna look out for, um, propylene, glycol, this really messes, all these artificial flavors, they mess with your hormones and they mess with your immune system. You know, people often talk about how their hormones are out of whack and they're getting sick all the time. You really wanna look at what you're putting into your body, what you're putting in, what's actually in your creamer could be contributing to this. So we wanna minimize the toxicity there. And the last one are artificial sweeteners. So the big one that's in most of them here is sucralose, right? Sucralose is not healthy for you. There's better ways to do that. But when you're taking in these artificial sweeteners, it really messes with your sense of satiety, right? How satisfied your, 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 your body is with the nutrition it's getting. And it messes up the signal and, and the body thinks, oh, I need to eat more. So you keep eating more and you start craving sweet things and you start your day with sugar, like sucralose and especially in an artificial way. The next thing you know, you want more sugar, 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 and you keep eating more calories than you actually need, but it's really because of the, what you're actually putting in your body and it makes weight loss almost impossible. So it's really important, a good, good little trick here, is to start your day with good quality protein and good quality fat. So again, the, the goal with your creamer should be to maximize nutrition and minimize toxicity. Unfortunately, there's not many creamers on the market right now that actually do this. So what we did was we made our own called Native Path um, Collagen 
coffee creamer and it has collagen and MCTs in there. So collagen is the most, one of the most abundant proteins in the body, but unfortunately, most of us are extremely deficient in it in our modern diets. And as we get older, our natural production of collagen declines, but collagen is responsible for um, your connective tissue, your tendons, your ligaments, your teeth, your skin, your nails, your hair, and it basically holds your body together. So when you have collagen at the beginning of the day, not only does the protein in there help boost your metabolism to start off your day, but it helps you look and feel younger. You know, I, I recommend this to my mom, many of our clients, and they all report their skin's better, their nails are growing faster, their hair is more shiny, and it tastes great in your morning coffee. And the other thing in here is MCT, that stands for medium chain triglyceride. I'll, earlier I talked about how these hydrogenated fats are very unhealthy for you. MCTs are a very healthy fat that's really good for your memory, your mood, and it also boosts your metabolism at the beginning of the day. And when I have this coffee creamer, I am sharp. I am with it. I am ready to go and start the day. And we, the flavor that we're, we're offering right now is butter pecan. We're going to come out with more flavors, but I'm telling you now, this butter pecan flavor is so good. You have, you, I have it every day, and it's like the, one of the best parts of my day. So, And it's so simple. You don't have to mix one thing and then the other. You don't have to put milk and then a pink packet in there. It's just one thing that you add, just a scoop, put it in your coffee, and stir. And I don't know what about you, but I found these little, these things and I just mix it up real quick. It's so good. And like that, and so simple, right? And the other nice thing about the butter pecan collagen coffee creamer is that it's, it uses a sweetener called monk fruit extract, right? That way you're not, you're not putting sugar in there, you're not putting any sucralose in there, and it doesn't give you the cravings. You know, when you start your day with good quality protein and fat, you're able to go a lot longer without having to need food all the time because your body is satisfied with the nutrition it needs. Again, maximize nutrition, minimizing toxicity. So if you've got those old ingredients in your pantry and your old creamers, throw them out and go ahead and order uh, the Native Path Butter Pecan Coffee Creamer. Put in your coffee. I know you're gonna love it, but you gotta actually try it out for yourself. So hope that helped. There's probably gonna be a link up there or down there where you can check it out or one of our customer service agents can point you in the direction of where you can get a special discount on this butter pecan because we want to have you try it, okay? Hope you enjoyed that. Talk soon, bye-bye.